Garrow. I'm here to talk to you about Taction technology. Taction is about sound you can feel. Um, if, you're, if you go to a live performance or you go to a movie theater, you naturally are going to feel the sound as much as you hear it. And, and that's, that's really what we're after. More and more, however, people are enjoying their movies or their music or their games on mobile platforms and don't have access to the large theater sound systems or their home theater system. And so, as things are going mobile, the creators are now forced, the creators of this movie are now living the nightmare, uh, as J.J. Abrams said earlier this year, it's, it's the nightmare of these content creators, the people are watching these big movies on such a small screen. Now, with VR, maybe, you know, we're tending toward being able to get that larger screen experience, but you still can't take your subwoofer with you and experience that, that big sound. Um, the director of Gravity, they wanted to have to work for sound design. The basis of their sound design was they wanted to implement touch, feel, and vibration in the, in the sound design. That's what we're all about. We're giving you back that touch, feel, and vibration that you get in, in live performances now in a mobile platform, like a headphone, so you take that with you and you enjoy your content wherever you are. How we're doing it is with this new kind of driver. It's a, a tactile driver that provides the accurate re re representation of the sounds you're hearing and turns it into something you can feel, just the way uh, you know, a lot of music does. Once these drivers get into headphones, we can really have some fun. Um, there's Liquid Sound is our processing package, which we can then provide to content creators to create special effects that they could never do before, before these drivers were in headphones. So what are the kinds of things we can do? Obviously, directional bass. You feel the bass vibration because we have bass emitters basically on both ears. You can get a good directional sense of where that's coming from. So you could use that for pressure wave simulation, right? If you have an explosion go off in one part of the screen, the, the user can feel that pressure wave hit them in addition to hear it. Um, there's some inertial cueing that can be done with this. So if you know, if the, the VR movie creator wants, wants you to feel like you're falling down a hole or flying through a tube, we can actually make it feel like these headphones are being blown back off your head the same way a helmet would be if you were, you know, in an airplane. Um, finally, we can just nudge people for direction finding. In the VR world, the, the creator may want you to be able to move in a specific path. We can nudge people using subsonic frequencies without interfering with the sound to tell them, hey, you should turn right here, you should go left here. And finally, there, there are some social tasks that you can implement where you might be able to embed uh, you know, a tap on the shoulder, a tap on the ear uh, within a text message. So what are the advantages of technology like this? First of all, increased immersion. Just watching a movie where you can feel the sound as much as you hear it in a very natural way uh, makes the content that much more immersive and that much into the movie or the game. Interestingly, there's a response time advantage. If you're a gamer, your body is naturally going to respond faster to things you feel than it will to things you hear. And we've measured 60 millisecond response advantage uh, in gaming environments. Safety. It turns out people really want this kind of immersive big sound, and they tend to turn their headphones way up to get it. People listening to action headphones will tend to listen at less than half the acoustic volume, which confers some uh, hearing preservation advantage. And finally, control. We're offering a new set of controls to the content creators uh, to make their movies, their VR experiences that much more immersive. So there are some other vibrating headphones out there, uh, Skull Candy, Crusher, and Sony Pulse. Uh, but this graph tells you a little bit about why we're so different. We have built this to be 
frequency accurate over a very wide range of, uh, of frequencies so that we can accurately emulate what your body would naturally feel. The other vibrators out there in headphones are basically single note vibrators like you have in your phone. Um, I think it just got the signal that I'm running out of time, so I'll, I'll fly through some of these reviews. Um, but basically the reviews have all been very positive, from Basehead Club, uh, an accurate vibration, HiFi, HeadFi, um, there's been a number of great reviews. Uh, we do have patents, that have been, we apply to patents on both the hardware and software aspects. Um, and I'm going to skip this and open it up questions. Somebody had a subwoofer on your wrist. Um, can you talk a little bit that about it specifically about that? It, yeah, um, I did see that. Um, there are a couple places on the body that are really touch sensitive. Around your ears is one of them. Your fingertips are another one. Your arm and wrist, not so much. Um, but I think. Really what we're offering is that stereo sensation of bass that allows us to you know, really, if, you, if there's a missile that flies across the screen, you feel the rumble go from your left ear to your right ear, vice versa, right? And so you get that binaural sensation of, of that deep bass, uh, which I feel is a very compelling experience that you probably miss on your wrist. Yes? There is that, um uh, situation all of us have had and bought expensive headphones we actually have it in the jack and it is on a high volume and bam the uh, bass has ruined the woofer so that now your headphones no longer have that sub woofer anymore it sounds big and now you've ruined your expensive headphones right what is there a chance that that's going to happen with yours Ours are, ours are isolated from the input because we have our own amplifier um, on board that's driving uh, the tactile driver. So you can still do damage to the acoustic driver that way. Um, but we have a, a special amplifier circuit that's designed to match what you feel to the frequency. Um, and, and so we're, we're protected from you know, a large input voltage that way, the driver itself, itself is. Yeah. So are you in any products today, or anything to get products? We have, I should mention, in case you didn't notice, we have headphones in the back. I'd love for you all to try it because I really can't describe how it feels. Uh, the best way is to put them on and, and see what you think. We expect to be in production with the headphones uh, in November. Yes. How much marketing have you done towards the professional gaming community? Uh, is that what you talked about, the, the 60 MS response time increase? It'd be a huge benefit to a pro gamer, like in anyone that Counter-Strike Go scene, which is just blowing up apparently all over Europe and even starting to affect the U.S. Yes, it is. And we're, we're working in that market now. We're, uh, we're just on the front end of trying to get some traction there. So I was wondering, with uh, creating like sound effects and such, do you uh, have, is there going to be separate software for creating those sorts of effects, or is that going to be somehow put into uh, other sort of audio creation capture software? Um, the, the answer to the question is yes. Uh, the, the headphones, as they exist now, work great with existing content. We think we can enhance that content by providing software, sound design studio, type software to the content creators, whether it's the game creators or the, the movie creators, who can then encode it in their game, and then uh, we can decode it um, you know, with an API and a mobile device. So, last so question. So if I understand correctly, this is some kind of headphones with uh, extra hardware in it that vibrates specifically? Uh, yeah, it's, it's got, uh, can fly back to this picture. Um, but I have one of these in the back. But that, that is the driver, not the porter. The, <laughs> the other device. 
and that just sits in the in the ear cup together with the acoustic driver, um, and they work together. So, so that means we can extract uh, to some some DSP like from the regular sound, uh, those kind of things, and apply them, or you have to have uh, co-encoded uh, you know specific things. In the current implementation, the headphones we're selling now, we are simply using right and left channel audio to go to the right and left channel tactors. So you get full bandwidth audio to the acoustic driver, so you've got a nice flat frequency response, and we're peeling off part of that audio to send to the tactors, so the vibration you feel is exactly the same as the sound you feel they match. So it's like a portable sound for kind of Like a portable sound.